Hi, my name is Amber Terhune. I'm the health educator for the Johnson County Health Department. This presentation is about rubella. Rubella is a contagious virus that mostly affects the skin and lymph nodes. It is also called German measles or the three-day measles, although it is not the same virus that causes the measles. Before the vaccine became available in 1969, there were epidemics every six to nine years. The last major epidemic was from 1964 to 1965. During this epidemic, there were about 12.5 million cases, about 11,000 miscarriages or stillbirths, about 2,100 newborn deaths, and about 20,000 babies born with congenital rubella syndrome, or CRS. Rubella was declared eliminated in the United States in 2004. There has been more than a 99% decrease in cases from the pre-vaccine era. There are less than 10 cases per year currently in the United States, as it is still common in many parts of the world. Between 2005 to 2015, there were eight babies reported with CRS. Rubella is spread through respiratory droplets from the nose, mouth, and throat. This may be done from sneezing, coughing, talking, sharing drinks or utensils, or from touching an infected surface. It may also be spread from pregnant women to their unborn babies if women are infected during their pregnancy. The incubation period for rubella is usually 16 to 18 days with a range of 12 to 23 days. Common symptoms may include a mild fever, swollen tender lymph nodes, usually at the back of the neck or behind the ears, a sore throat, headache, loss of appetite, mild conjunctivitis, stuffy or runny nose, cough, joint pain or swelling, which is more common in women, and a rash that starts on the face and spreads down the body. It may be red or pink spots, which may merge into patches. It usually lasts up to three days. Some people have no symptoms, but can still spread the virus. You are most contagious from one week before to one week after the rash appears. A diagnosis may be made through a physical examination, as well as blood test, throat swab, nasal swab, or urine specimen. There is no specific treatment for rubella, but there are things that you can do to help ease the symptoms. Drink plenty of fluids, get plenty of rest, and you may use a non-aspirin fever and pain medication. Do not use aspirin as this can cause a rare but serious condition called Ray syndrome. Anyone who is not vaccinated is at risk for rubella. Those at a higher risk are international travelers or those who have contact with international travelers. Those for higher risk for complications are pregnant women therefore the unborn babies due to the risk of CRS. The most serious complications from rubella happen during pregnancy, especially if a woman is infected during her first trimester. There's a 90% chance of passing the virus onto the fetus. It may lead to miscarriage or stillbirth or infant death soon after birth. Rubella is the leading vaccine preventable cause of birth defects worldwide known as congenital rubella syndrome, CRS. Possible outcomes from this include growth problems, intellectual disability, heart and eye defects, brain defects, deafness, liver, spleen, and bone marrow problems, diabetes, thyroid problems, low birth weight, skin rash at birth. Rare complications may include encephalitis, bleeding problems such as low platelet levels and hemorrhage, ear infection, and arthritis women, which usually lasts for about one month. You should see a doctor if you are exposed to rubella and susceptible, especially if you are pregnant. You should also see a doctor if you develop more severe symptoms. The best method to prevent rubella is to get the vaccine. One vaccine dose is about 97% effective. The recommended ages to receive the vaccine are the first dose at 12 to 15 months and the second dose at four to six years. The vaccine may be received earlier in the case of international travel or during outbreaks. You can also catch up doses later for older children or adults. Talk to your doctor to find out if you need vaccinated. 
Indiana requires two doses of MMR vaccine or proof of immunity for kindergarten through 12th grade enrollment. Many colleges require it as well. There are two vaccines available. The MMR vaccine, which is the measles, mumps, and rubella, and ProQuad, or MMRV, which is measles, mumps, rubella, and varicella. There is no vaccine for only rubella. Some people are unable to be vaccinated due to their age or medical conditions, so those around them should be vaccinated. Women who are pregnant or planning to become pregnant within one month should not receive the vaccine, but should have a blood test to confirm their immunity to rubella. Pregnant women who are exposed may be given hyperimmune globulin. It may reduce symptoms, but the baby may still develop CRS. Despite some beliefs, there is no evidence to support the idea that the vaccine is linked to autism. Be cautious with overseas travel, since rubella is still common in many other areas of the world. Be sure to avoid others if you are infected, especially if they have never had rubella or the vaccine, or if they are pregnant. Stay home from work, school, and daycare while infectious. Be sure to tell anyone who you may have infected. If you have not had the vaccine due to medical or religious exemption, and there is a case of rubella at your school, preschool, or daycare, you must remain home until 23 days after the onset of rash in the last case of rubella. You may return to work or school after receiving the vaccine if you are able to receive it, and all others without documentation of immunity have been excluded. This concludes the rubella presentation. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit any of these websites or contact your physician or local health department. Thank you.